This is video 8 in topic 10 on how does a compass work. In this video we're going to be looking at electromagnets. Now the fact that current carrying wires generate their own magnetic field actually has some really useful implications. It actually allows us to build what's called electromagnets, which are magnets that, unlike a permanent magnet, we can turn off and we can turn on. So in order to build an electromagnet, we need something a bit like this slinky coil here. This slinky coil is made of metal, and so the current can flow through the slinky coil. This slinky coil is known as a solenoid. So a solenoid is a long kind of spiral of wire like this. And now if we imagine the magnetic field lines around each of these little wires as the current flows through it, the magnetic field lines in the middle of the loop are all actually pointing in the same direction. So here's our loop and you can see using the right hand rule that in this case the magnetic field lines around that loop are all flowing into the screen. And so we have effectively lots of these magnetic fields all adding together along the slinky. So what we should have is a nice constant magnetic field through the middle of this slinky coil. So in a second we're going to turn on the current through this slinky coil and then we're going to use this compass needle to observe the magnetic field in the middle of the slinky coil. So now I've placed a compass in the middle of my slinky coil. At the moment there's no current flowing along the slinky coil but have a look at what happens when I close this switch. So you can see the compass needle deflects to point along the slinky. So this shows us the direction of the magnetic field lines going along the slinky. So let's just do that one more time. Turn on the current and the compass deflects and lies now parallel to the slinky coil. So in this case the magnetic field lines were all going along the slinky and then they come out around the slinky and back like this. So the magnetic field lines of a solenoid can be drawn like this. Now this is actually exactly the same as the magnetic field lines around a permanent magnet looked like. And so this means that a solenoid like this is actually a very useful device as it can be used as a permanent magnet that can be turned off and turned on. So let's build now a little electromagnet using this theory. What I have here is an iron nail and I've just wrapped around lots of copper wire. So this is now like a miniature slinky coil here. Now why I wrapped the wire around a nail rather than just around cardboard or something else is that iron actually has a higher permeability than air. So permeability is that mu naught constant and so this actually means that the magnetic field strength inside iron is actually a lot larger than inside air and this is because that iron is a ferromagnet and it's got lots of little domains in it and all these domains will align with the magnetic field which will strengthen that magnetic field. And so in order to make this an electromagnet I'm going to have to connect it across the battery. So just to show you I'm not cheating, what I've got here is a couple of paper clips. I'll try and pick them up with this iron nail now. You can see no effect, they're not being attracted to this iron nail. Now let's attach the battery across the copper wire. Now this is going to get very hot very quickly, so I don't recommend that you try this at home. Okay, so to attach this, I've actually, if you, if you did want to try to reproduce it, which I don't recommend, I've had to scrape off the end of the wire here because this copper wire has an insulating coating all over it and so in order to make an electrical co connection we actually need to remove that. So let's wrap that around this end and now wrap it around the other end as well at which point it's going to start heating up really quickly 
And now let's just show that it's acting as a magnet. So you can see now it's capable of lifting up these paper clips that it couldn't before. Now I'll switch it off. The iron remains magnetized for a short time because the domains remain aligned with that magnetic field for a short while, but eventually this magnetism is going to disappear. So that is one way to build an electromagnet. So you've now seen how to build a really simple solenoid that can be used as an electromagnet. Now there's lots of places around us where these electromagnets are used, such as in car yards to lift up metal cars. So as long as we have ferromagnetic materials like iron, then an electromagnet will attract them and be able to lift them up. So can you think of some places where electromagnets are used around us? It would be worthwhile having a look at how many places you can list in which electromagnets are used. Thanks to Sebastian Frick for filming this video.